Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts, and I'm gonna talk about glutathione. Now, glutathione is one of the main antioxidants of the body, and it plays such a significant role. So I wanna talk a little bit more about it so you get more familiar with what glutathione is. Now, glutathione, what it is, is it's manufactured or it's synthesized in every cell in our body, but it's highly concentrated in the liver. And we need enough glutathione in the body in order to support phase one and phase two detoxification. And if we don't have enough glutathione, then we have challenges with liver function and challenges with detoxification in the body. So that's why glutathione is really important. So glutathione is a tripeptide. So it's made up of glutamic acid, cysteine, and glycine. So these all have to be sufficient in the body in order for us to be able to make glutathione. Now, when glutathione levels are low, it can really be affecting our body's ability to be able to synthesize and repair DNA. So that can play a very significant role. Glutathione is also really important in terms of detoxification. So because we need it for those proper detoxification pathways, glutathione plays a really important role. Glutathione also plays a role in terms of being a very strong antioxidant in the body. And because it has that oxidative capacity in the body, it can play a big role in terms of aging. So if we don't have enough glutathione, then we can have rapid aging happening in the body. We kind of call that, we call that oxidation, oxidative damage in the body, and we can also call that um, rusting. So it's r internal rusting happening in the body. Now, without glutathione, if glutathione levels are lowered, it can also affect decreasing our immune system. It can also have an effect in terms of our cardiovascular function. So these are different aspects that can happen if we have lowered levels of glutathione. What's also shown in some studies is that if we have um, low levels of glutathione, that can leave us more susceptible to Parkinson's disease. So supplementing with glutathione in those early stages of Parkinson's disease have been shown to be very beneficial. Now, challenges with glutathione is also getting that glutathione into the body and into the cells to make them useful. And some of the ways that we can do that is supplementing with vitamin C. Vitamin C can help to increase glutathione levels in the body. And um, NAC, so N-acetylcysteine, is another way that helps to increase glutathione levels. Taking glutathione um, orally can help, but it has to be in a specific form. So the best way for us to absorb glutathione orally would be taking liposomal glutathione. So it's glutathione that's basically emulsified in fat. So it helps that glu glutathione to actually move into the cells. And another way that um, we can help to increase glutathione is by doing IV glutathione, so intravenous glutathione. And that's another way to increase the absorption of glutathione in the body. And this is a service that we offer within our clinic. So glutathione, extremely important in the body, plays many different really important factors. And I hope that helps you to gain a better understanding of why glutathione is so important for us to be increasing those levels in our body. So thank you so much for watching. I encourage you to share this information with your friends, to press the like button, to make a comment below, and until next time, continue to learn, grow, and build health.